right, five minutes after the hour, y'all. The segment's being brought to you by My Computer Career. That's right. If you don't absolutely love what you do, go to mycomputercareer.edu and take the free career evaluation today and become an information technology professional in as little as four months. That's mycomputercareer.edu. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Chico DeBarge from the famous DeBarge family, y'all, was recently arrested. Now, they're saying, y'all, that the neighbors called the police to his trailer house because they said there was a lot of noise, weird noises going on, and what have you. And when the police got to his wonderful trailer house, they're saying they found, honey, um, methamphetamines and other drug paraphernalia in Mr. DeBarge's um area so they decided to arrest him and bring him to jail he was placed on bond he got out of jail and whatever but they're saying you know it was funny because chico was ar arrested so many times before and he lied once before and tried to give his brother james name to get out of jail and what have you but they said he didn't try that this time he gave his real name and they brought him on in and they put him gave him a bond and released him but what's funny this man all the money they had he live in a trailer house i mean i know trailers are fabulous and yeah, they, they, man, listen, man, when people go, uh, they get on drugs, they go into a uh, dark place. Yeah. And sometimes, man, getting arrested, going to jail is the some, the best thing for some of them because it'll save their life. Because yep. with the stuff that they putting in drugs now, if you get a hold mm -hmm. of some fentanyl, Ooh. it's a wrap. Yeah, It's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, right. so so we just hope that he get the help that he need and, and can get into some kind of rehab facility and get clean because uh, this ain't this ain't like it was 20 years ago they are really oh. lacing fentanyl and stuff and uh you know we just don't want, want to see nothing happen to him yeah because he had drug problems once before at least a couple of times before so some people just got years of just being sick like decades of just just being sick you got yeah. people that just struggle with drugs and they can't yeah. get clean no matter what yeah yeah Sad. All right. Well, speaking of being sick, Brent, your favorite male actor, honey, Mr. Dwayne Rock Johnson is in the news. He's being reported, y'all. They're saying, y'all, that water is squeezed out of the rock and into a water bottle. Now, it's being reported, y'all, that Dwayne Johnson says that's exactly what happens during his famous workouts, revealing in a new interview that we, honey, that he does, in fact, urinate in bottles at gyms. He said, um, he explained that it's not as what? weird as it, he said, it's not as weird as it sounds. He said, he said, oh, at least he tried to. He said, um, with, um, Esquire, he said, the WWE legend said he doesn't have a specific water bottle that he re um, reuses as his portable bathroom. He said, but rather, he just uses old plastic bottles that he's finished with. Now, they're saying, what? as for why he does it, in the first place, he said, The Rock explained that there's just simply no bathrooms at the gym that he lifts weights in. He said, it's not just hot, sweaty, and dirty, he said, of the facilities, but he said, he just, you know, loves to do that, and that's what he does. Yeah. Now, Ricky, wasn't it a plastic bag once upon a time? Yeah, no, I still use them. I you still them use them those? In, I keep them in my glove compartment. They're called urinal bags. Mm -hmm. So, when you're on the road, you out here driving on the highway, way or if you in a rush you coming out of the grocery store i mean i'm 50 you can't hold it all the time and you can just uh lean over and uh in the bag the stuff that's inside the bag turns it into a hard gel and you just toss it in the trash or, or you know yep. until you get to a trash can and wash your hands with your hand sanitizer and be done with it because you going in those these gas station Ooh, bathrooms and stuff nasty. They are super nasty. Mm. Super nasty. And I don't Especially I don't with play COVID with them. out there. Absolutely. Ooh, right. I, I, I keep them in my office. I don't I don't even like the bathrooms at the office. You just close your door and lock it. And you just go and get in your little corner and you stand there and handle your business and you just toss it in the trash. Cause the same material that's inside of a pamper. Mm. It, 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 oh. it ain't it ain't it ain't no different. It's the same the same material that hardens up that that urine, when you're, your baby in a pamper, is, is, is what's in that plastic bag. You can buy them at, at Walgreens or CVS. They're called urinal bags. And for the ladies, you can uh, they got the wider opening so you can squat when you come out of the club. <laughs> oh. if, you got a, if you got a straight aim, if you got that one homegirl that get really, really drunk, keep her from going behind the car, and she can squat and put that bag right there. And let me tell you, boy, that, that you'll help yourself. A lot of stress off your body. I gave you some, Special K. I got I Brad, I some. I gave you some. Oh, I, I keep me some. I got mine. Yeah, your, the, I, the, I gave you the lady with the wide opening. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, them things be a lifesaver <laughs> while y'all play. Yeah. I don't Brad. need no wide opening. I know how to aim, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. Aim the place. All right. Oh, aim the place. Yeah. All right, now. <laughs> you better tell them, honey. Honey. Oh, All right. 
I'm all right, baby. Oh, whatever. Okay, honey. That's all right, niece. Yes. Hey, baby, right. I'm telling you, you got to learn that when you've been going in them public bathrooms and stuff. Man. You don't want to sit on them toilets. I will, but baby. I should be in the right place. Oh, and then, right. And, then uh, and you can go on Amazon and order the uh, toilet covers. They are biodegradable yep. toilet covers. They slide yep. on the whole toilet seat. Yeah. And, you know, just in case you have to go. So yep. I'm just telling you, man, you got to keep your little pack of stuff. Yep, you do. Right. Especially when you travel. Your to-go pack. <laughs> okay. And then you then you go to... <laughs> And then you go to uh, uh, and get the aromatherapy stress relief uh, body spray from yes. uh, Bath Bath Body Works. And them Works. candles, them look, 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 look at here. Look at here. Like, hey, every time I put my bag in the overhead bin on the plane, I kind of sneak it out and I I spray it twice. And, it and then I leave so the overhead good. bin and just throw it in the bag, and all of a sudden. The area where you sit smell good the entire yep. flight, yes. and, the, and nobody know where the smell coming from. Either yep. that or some of that gas station blunt spray. There Come you on go. Now. <laughs> on the <your> seats. <laughs> Come on now. Ram on the seats. You better there tell them what it is. Baby, toilet tree one oh one, honey. Yes. All right, the color today, honey. One of my favorite colors. My color today is winter mint. On the high end, you say winter mint. On the low end, you say beautiful powder blue. That's your color for today. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Gary with the team. <laughs> All right, 11 minutes after the hour, y'all. More Rick and Smile, the morning show coming up.